Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Well, Houston, let's solve the problem of physics and what it is. So let's just talk about physics here. So now what I want to say, let's talk about the fact that there's different branches of physics. Physics. Physicos. The first one is laser physics. Did you know there's awesome stuff you can do with lasers, like laser scalpels, medical lasers, laser weapons. They can use it for surveying. That's a whole branch of physics. Another one is opticals or optics. So eyeglasses, optics, how, how lenses work. This is in cameras. This is in telescopes. It's in lots and lots and lots of cool stuff. The next one is atomic physics. Now in atomic physics, that has to do with the atom and particularly with the electrons and how the electrons work. And some of the applications that uh, scientists, physicists have found is how they can shoot electrons at things and actually use them like microscopes. They're called electron microscopes. So atomic physics is another cool, awesome area. Another way is nuclear physics. And that, of course, comes from the word, the nucleus of the atom. And, and you have like nuclear reactions and nuclear bombs and nuclear energy. Well, that's all this. And it has to do with splitting apart the atom and particularly the nucleus of the atom. The one that you probably are most excited about as, a, as just an individual in the world is medical physics. We, we have done some amazing things with like x-rays, radiotherapy, like non-invasive ways to treat and diagnose diseases, Physics has solved these things, or is in the process and continue to learn about it. And then the last branch is, we call it theoretical. Theoretical, that sounds like, well, theoretical, what does that mean? It has to do with the fundamental laws of the universe. You may not realize this, so there's four fundamental laws of the universe. They are gravity. You've heard about gravity, we'll learn more about gravity. There is electromagnetism, some would say EM. So. But that basically means positive things are attracted to negative things. And then the other two are kind of esoteric that you don't think about. They actually have to do with nuclear. There's what we call the strong nuclear force. And there's the weak nuclear force. And these are forces that happen inside the nucleus of the atom. And, and these are the four fundamental forces of the universe. They behave in very similar ways. And, and there's a lot of mystery surrounding them about basically what causes them. There's some uh, theories, et cetera, et cetera. But this all kind of works in that realm of theoretical physics. And I lied, there is a one more, and that is astrophysics. These are people who are looking at the stars and, and not just like astronomers are different than astrophysicists because astrophysicists is looking at like uh, the cosmology of the, the big bang, what caused things and, and looking at mathematics, high levels of math, super smart mathematical stuff that's going on with this that looks at the universe from a really, really big perspective. And I guess in this course, what we're going to do is we're going to tend to take a big view. We're not really going to go all these uh, theoretical, et cetera. We're going to look at the fundamental forces of physics, the, the laws of motion, a fair amount of time on electricity and magnetism. We're going to learn a lot of really cool and interesting things and things that apply to our world. Houston, we don't got a problem.